Father Lord, I pray that you go into this video with me. You stay with me. You come out of this video with me. Father Lord, the Bible says by stripes we are healed. Anything that happens as a result of this video, Lord, I pray that you heal me completely from me to Lord in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. <music> Hey Fem Bem, how you doing? Welcome back. Okay, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing fantastic. For today's video, I am very, very nervous. I have been putting this video up for about two weeks, like since I got the products that I bought from Wish Hap. Oh my lord. Um, and actually, it's one of you, Fem Bem, that actually requested that I do this video. And I have been thinking about it for a while as well. And I just decided, okay, just kill that curiosity, order it, and see how you go. Okay. So I put my odd hundred dollars to app. Uh, you wish shop i can't speak and i bought all these products and i'm very scared before we get started i feel the need to say this be cautious of anything you're going to put on your face or anything you're going to put in the areas you know close to your orifices or whatever it is i have watched a lot of documentaries showing the places where products like these are produced and it is not pretty i'm telling you not pretty i'm gonna put a couple of links down below if you're interested in those all right okay so i already unboxed all these things does this remind you guys of anything? I will help you. Let me help you. Is it, this is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And this is the P Babe Skin Pore Eraser that I bought from Wish App. Look at that. Very interesting. Okay. Got a liquid highlighter corrector. Well, yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, We've got a pressed powder by a brand called May Shea. All right. There's what the powder looks like. Mmm. Okay. Got two foundations. That's the packaging. It's pretty white. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. The Fasali Unicorn on essence um skin enhancing antioxidant serum does this guys remind you guys of anything what did i just say that's the box all right i've got two concealers pretty light one and a pretty dark one that literally looks like the elego pro hd concealer this is a primer by the same brand that did the that does the foundation or all matte pore invisible face primer that is so pretty oh my gosh this is a focal low brow cream it's almost legit <gasps> casualty you see that that's this is the shade dark brown <laughs> this look pretty pretty glamorous i'm interested this is a miss rose professional makeup lip liner and lipstick it's a two-in-one lipstick and lip liner pretty pretty cool i really like the box missy young fashion matte this is a lipstick in a shade in, oh it's a lip gloss <sighs> oh i'm definitely gonna be keeping this i'm oh i'm not even sorry iconic <laughs> iconic london <laughs> hmm? hello perfume that is so cute oh my gosh it comes with a sleeve as well that's awesome oh this this is stained this has a heck of a stain on it this is the second one let's all put it together oh yes color oh lord why am i excited right now highlighter by the brand miss rose pretty packaging i like that look at this i dimmed the light so y'all can see oh <laughs> This is magic eyeliner and seal eyeliner. Oh, that is very sleek. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. <sighs> Dust. This is a powder. This is pretty. Silky Soft Honey Powder by the brand Bio Aqua. So, Bio Water. <laughs> oh, 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 that's very light. Guys, this packaging is the schnitzel. Look at this. Look at this. And then the powder's in there. Oh, and it even has a mirror. They're right here. Look at it. I'm very excited about this. We're gonna spot clean that when we get to it. So, um, first things first, I'm a realist. The, oh lord jesus hey what's up lord no first things first we've got primer i actually bought two primer products oh, let me just use this how i will use my instant pore, pore eraser on the areas where i have large pores <laughs> I've been doing um, sensitivity tests as well, and I haven't really gotten any reactions. If you see anything in the back of my hand, that's what that's what it is. This is what the pore eraser look like. Hmm, it's it's pink. It's actually pink. You can't see it on camera, but it's it's pink. Meanwhile, oh, and it smells like Nivea. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Maybelline Instant Pore Eraser is clear. If you're not familiar with it, there it is. You, you can hardly see it. That's because it's a clear color. But yeah, this one is pink. I don't even want to put this on my face though. And it's very lotiony. It smells like, yeah, it smells like Nivea. It smells like cream, like a baby's cream. Oh, instead of smelling, I'm actually breathing out. I'm like, instead of, you know. <laughs> all right, so that, that does not smooth my pores at all. It doesn't do anything for my pores whatsoever so there's no need 
um, of me like, you know, putting more of that product on my face. I feel like I'm just gonna get my bin ready and just put it in the bin, because I won't be keeping this. Flo, bin. Let's just imagine there's a bin there. Okay. Yep, I'm just gonna wipe it off. It's not doing anything on my face anyway. So the other primer is an all matte pore invisible face primer. Minimizing facial pores, smooth moisturizer, moisturizing in flawless finish. It's by the brand Foera. It's kind of like Sephora. <laughs> But if you switch all the letters around it, you remove letter S and E for error. Pretty cute, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it cute? Comes with a pump. Oh my God. <laughs> this is like waiting for your boyfriend to come home and you're single. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Can you come out? Nothing. Nothing is coming out, guys. I think there's supposed to be a little um, string or whatever, or pipe or whatever it is in there, but there isn't anything in there. Do you know what I mean? So I guess we're not priming our face. Literally, I've been sitting here for about two, three minutes trying to get something out of that. Nothing came out. The Fasali Unicorn Essence and the Iconic London Illumin Illuminator. We're just gonna do both, why not? I have never, ever touched, smelled, felt, applied either of these products in my life before. The real one, I'm saying. So I don't know what to expect, but... Mm. Okay, all right, I've seen videos and I do believe it was this color. You can't see it again. This is pink in color. Can you see it? It's pink. Eee! The way the way it feels at the back of my hand. It feels weird. Is this how the you the the you one? Is this how the real one feels? Hmm. It just smells like um oh there's this particular skincare product that smells like but I can't put my finger on it. Okay, should I drape it on my face? Let's do that. Oh Lord Jesus, help us. Oh, I don't want to put it on. <laughs> I think I might tip out all the products in here and just pour my regular face oil in there so I can feel fancy. <laughs> it's very um wet. I would I thought it would go tacky as I keep rubbing it in, but it doesn't. Can you guys see? Let me keep rubbing it in. Mm. This is not good. Don't do this, guys. Do not try this at home. All right, this is Iconic London Illuminator. The Iconic London Illuminator. Something's on my chest. Oh, it's my hair. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is pretty gold. And I'm trying to get product in there, but it's not coming out. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're just gonna do this. Okay, that's pretty. That's very pretty. That's very pretty. Hmm, that does not smell pretty. I'm living my Instagram dream. <laughs> oh, and I've got a pimple right there and I just put it on top of it. Nice one, Esther, nice one. I'm really gonna try and do a good makeup look today. <laughs> and that's what I say every time I start doing my makeup. And then later on, I'm like, oh, at least we tried. Oh Lord, how many drops did I buy? This is another drop. This is by the brand called Podea. <laughs> Sounds like a dirty word. This is it, okay. Why aren't these things picking product up? Okay. None of these things are picking up product. I guess that's a good thing for me. Oh, this one feels like mucus. Sorry, but it's pretty. I think I'm supposed to use this after the foundation. Let me just put it on the high point of my cheek. We might as well glow, you know? Foundation, I'm so happy we finally got to foundation. This looks like the, or the originals. That's, I was trying to remember the brand earlier. That's no other brand, the originals. Is it the originals or is that a TV show? <laughs> What's the name of what's the name of the brand that did that foundation that looks like this? Anyway, this looks like it and it comes with a pump. I bought two because I have to find my correct shade. You know what I mean? So yeah. So this is the shade 109 Mocha and 110 Truffle. The thing is, when I was buying um these products on Wish app, like I could hardly find a shade that was for me, for a melanin girl, you know, for a melanin girl. You know what I mean? Because most of the brands mainly had about what four to five shades per foundation and whatnot. And I'm like, this is interesting, but I was able to find something close. So let's, <sighs> okay, thank you, thank you, Jesus. This is the shade 109, oh, the back of my hand is itchy. Okay, 109 Mocha. Okay, oh, go Wish, Wish is onto something. I just wish that primer had worked though. All right, and let's do the shade Truffle. Truffle, all right, okay. This is shade Truffle. I feel like Truffle and Mocha actually look the same. Hmm. I've got a lot of breakouts on my forehead and I'm putting foundation that I don't know where it came from and I can't sue the company. I'm putting it on my face. Me, my thing is, if I cannot name you in a class action, I would not be putting you on my face. That's my thing. <laughs> wow, 
this is a hang on i'm just close my mouth let me just finish there's no scent to it whatsoever which is pretty cool i still want to try that foundation you know the foundation we're talking about that i could that i can't remember the name if you guys are interested let me know maybe that's what i need maybe i need a motivation if you're interested i will buy it all right wow this has got a pretty decent coverage oh and that drop is still coming through the foundation all right so i bought two concealers by the brand feel i still don't know how they say this name you see this can you pronounce that name if you can type it as you would pronounce it because i don't know it's like a p and then a symbol like infinity so infinity for you <laughs> i don't understand how they expect people to get into these things i don't understand 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 <laughs> okay so this one actually had shade name on it or number but i've already ripped it off but i'm sure it's still online this literally looks the same as the other girl concealer obviously i've been using this so this is still clean look at that okay <laughs> but why would you want to this is already very cheap anyway i mean if you live in australia the other girl is ten dollars you know but for those in the us and whatnot it's three dollars or something like that all right all right this is the pretty light one good it doesn't smell like anything oh lord i don't want to put this close to my eyes but we we, we have to do it do you guys see it i just blended out I, I i don't see it but let's check here <laughs> okay here we go this has no coverage to it whatsoever there's no coverage just color but who am i to judge who am i to complain all right i'm just prepping the lid i think i need to set my face as well all right let me contour while i'm here too hmm do you see it wow all my textures are coming up all my textures i see it it's rising up i rise up i hope this gives me color too because i need to look chiseled i need to look contoured you know it's not chiseling me if a product cannot chisel you then why do you have it you know it's not right for you bro all right so let's set it this is a powder duh um i really guys the packaging of this powder is out of this world yeah out of this world this is by a brand called bio aqua or bioqua because it's one word and it's called the silky soft honey powder honey honey in the shade 07 charm is that hair oh that's my hair please i hope it's my hair lord i hope that's my hair anyway okay this is the powder you can't see it but it's take my word for it it's almost beige ish in color and it feels it's like i'm putting flour on my face it's the consist it has the consistency of baking flour that's it that's it all right let me close my mouth but i'm not mad at it though oh once you put it on your face it feels heavy instantly oh and then you blend it out it doesn't really feel heavy anymore it set the makeup pretty good but then i can feel the weight over here especially where i deposited it deposited depos the dep what i what i put it where i placed it i can feel the weight of it and you can see that line of demarcation i thought it would be have a translucent feel i thought it was a translucent powder but it isn't before the brows powder that is pretty dark <laughs> oh okay i'll use this to bronze this is probably gonna work better than the other three than the other three bronzing powder i used in that other video but yeah this is the by a brand called may Shear. this is a may Shear press powder i'm gonna contour i'm gonna use this i'm very excited but first i need a spot cleaner or disinfect it with a out um with rubbing alcohol <laughs> i can't speak we're contouring we're bronzing oh lord i applied so much the foundation is moving underneath guys i can f oh i thought there was a mirror here there's no mirror i can feel it against this brush <laughs> what's next this is so sleek i love it and that's the products it's a brow pomade this is in a shade dark brown all right i'm gonna do my brows with this let's hope this this, this works all right hmm it's very pigmented it's very pigmented guys oh i take everything i said about that foundation back oh <laughs> i didn't look close but i take it back it's either it's sweating off my face or it's just it's not good i don't even know how to explain it it's like curdling you know everything is coming together but not in a good way you know yeah this foundation is not a good one at all it's not good at all at all at all let me dab it in let me fix it 
let's give it a chance maybe I, maybe because i didn't fully set it with a powder all over the ceiling and the holy this feeling got me falling all over all over all right so the brow is a little bit decent as you guys can see it's a bit um oily you know what i mean but i'm used to that i'm okay with that i'm just gonna use a powder to set it to reduce that shine oh <laughs> and i just lifted off the product oh that's hilarious okay that's fine let's just leave it okay let me use the powder to set my face because this foundation is just lifting off my face like literally like where is it going eyeshadow palette this is by that same brand that i cannot pronounce its name my bought two they're plastic this is really cute it's very soft to touch okay let me swatch this pink color it's not a, it's not crazy pigmented my face cannot tell a lie okay that's pretty good it, it feels buttery i'll give it that it feels soft and buttery actually i'm gonna grab the let's just go randomly i'm going into the shade look at me trying to use this as a mirror i mean I might as well bring you closer you know why not can you see me Ooh, you're so close that you can even see the patchiness right here right here <laughs> So I'm still putting that shade in my crease. Oh, the concealer, my lid, can you guys see? It's creasing, the concealer is creasing my lid. It's not a good concealer, but gosh, this is nicely pigmented though. Okay, so I'm gonna go into this shade. <laughs> this one, to black shade. Okay. And I'm going to put this in my crease as, as well. Wow, so far so good with this. Now I'm gonna pick this pink shade. I hope I just showed you and still put it in the crease. I'm honestly just dipping into these colors to see the pigmentation. This one ain't got it. Oh, okay. Now let's drop this palette. Let's go into this colorful one. Honestly, guys, I love the packaging of this. I love, I love how cute little it is. Perfect for traveling. Maybe I can remove it and put other, I don't know. All right. So what are we doing? What are we doing, guys? Nope. Okay, so <laughs> let's do something interesting. Just grabbing that concealer and I'm just going to use it to cut my crease because why not? And we're going all the way out. Nothing can stop us. We're all the way out. All right. Oh, I just sounded like a robot. Powder, the same powder, the honest silk powder. Grabbing the other end of my brush. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. Okay, so I'm grabbing this purple shimmer shade. I'm just going to place it in the crease no on the cut but mainly on the outer portion and it is not as vibrant as i would like it to be should we spray it let's spray it and see what we're gonna get okay <sighs> same old same old okay <laughs> just gonna grab this gold shade there's like five different gold in there just gonna place this on the rest of the lid wow this is pretty pigmented i think because the brush is still wet that's pretty cool if i do say so myself if i do say so myself if i do say so myself all right so i'm gonna grab this deep shade still in the shimmer palette the good thing is there hasn't been any fallout except for when i went back to grab the purple and it got a little bit chunky and i think that's because i went in heavy with the brush and whatnot so i get that so i'll give it that you know what i mean but guys wow okay did i just say what i was gonna say i'm grabbing this the deep shade this one right here the deep brown shade and i'm just gonna put this wow there's not a lot of product in this at all i just saw ew guys the side of the palette is i don't know how to explain it you know the individual squares why am i talking so low i just realized something the individual squares like when you look at the edge of it it looks um i don't know it does not look right you know when there's a build up of dirt on the highway on the skirt of the highway that's a really bad description but it's just mm. okay i'm not i'm not gonna use that shade again i don't know how to explain what i just saw all I know is I'm not going back into that palette again. <laughs> it just made me worry. And this one looks pretty clean compared to that one anyway. So I'm grabbing this black shade in this palette. This is the other palette. And I'm going to put that in my crease just for extra definition. Wow. And that one is crazy pigmented that I just ruined what I just did. Oh, the ingredient list is back here. All right. What's next? Eyeliner? 
which I do not want to do because it's too close to, for comfort. It's too close to my eyes. But this is the Miss Rose Zill eyeliner. So one side is this shape and the other side is the actual eyeliner and I just stained my hand. I've seen this everywhere. Is it supposed to be that way? You know, you stamp. It's supposed to help you construct a good eye. No, it's fine. We're fine. Construct a good eyeliner, a good wing. Okay, that's a good hack actually. The eyeliner is not crazy pigmented and it's very wet. It's not matte. It won't dry down. Like, do you know what I mean? It's not smudge proof. It's not matte. It's non drying. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so here's the lashes that I bought. This is a. I am. 100% comfortable putting this lashes in my eyes. I'm just gonna wipe it with <laughs> with rubbing alcohol first. It says it's a 100% mink hair. <laughs> I really hope it's not. I don't wanna put animal on my eyes. The packaging, I love. First of all, it just feels like synthetic. Lies, the lies, the lie of it all. Okay, it's a pretty good style. It's very thin. I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna clean the lashes, apply it, and I'll be back right back. <laughs> I'm not gonna be putting that shadow on my bottom lash line because I don't really want to, especially from seeing that the inside of that pot. I don't want to, I'm sorry. I won't be. <laughs> Maybe let's just try. I, I feel like I'm disappointing. I don't want to disappoint. Should we? Let me just, nope, I don't want to. I'm not doing it, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Um. what's next? Lips, oh, highlighter, I almost forgot. Here we are, this is the Miss Rose Shimmer Highlighter. It's, it's very powdery, chalky. Oh, it's very scented. Hmm. Smells like baby powder. Yep, it's, it's blinding folks. But as I apply it, the powder is coming up to my eyes. Like if this was a word where you're recommending products to buy on Wishhap, I would not recommend this. Hmm. It's heavily scented as well. I don't like smells that lingers. Ugh. I saw this actually. This fell out of the product. I don't know which packaging it fell out of, but I just wanted to show you guys. Maybe, oh, this is probably for the brows. This is a Missy Young Fashion Matte Lip Gloss. How is it lip gloss and it's matte? Anyway, yeah, it's in shade 12. And this is the Miss Rose Professional Makeup Lip Liner. So there's two sides, just as there is two sides to every story got that and that so why did i throw it like that i just want to get to this point here we go it's a lip liner and a lip stick side okay it doesn't really have a smell in particular the pencil is very smooth all right oh oh what the oh <laughs> oh we well, might as well see what's inside okay it broke that's hilarious it feels comfortable. Okay, this is the okay. This is the lip gloss. They say it's a lip gloss and it's matte. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is coming. Okay. Do you guys see the lip gloss? Like not much comes out of the packaging itself. Ugh. If that feels um very uncom uncomfortably sticky when I'm releasing my lips. I would not recommend this. Okay, all right, are we done? I hope we are. I would like to go and fix my hair and come back looking pretty for you guys, but no. Final thoughts, this brush is so, so good. The only thing I like in all this product is the brush. <laughs> And maybe the lashes too, you know, maybe the lashes as well. So that's it. What do you guys think? Have you tried Wish App products before? No judgment. I just, I'm just really curious. Or do you constantly buy makeup for the products? Or do you constantly buy makeup pro products from Wish App? I cannot speak. Um, yeah, comment down below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I kind of shed some light on some things for you guys. Just remember, like, try to stay clear of products like this because you never know what goes into the product and, you know, you, you don't, you don't know what's going on your face you don't want to put someone else's feces on your face you know what i mean yeah i know that's a bit vulgar or it's a bit too graphic but you gotta say it sometimes so everyone can get it you know what i'm saying so yeah so as i was saying thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up you should subscribe if you haven't done so already let me know in the comment section i believe you have any video you'd like to see from me i will not be doing this again okra but i do have a shop and say oh that's coming up real soon i'm very very excited about that okra so yeah as i mentioned earlier thank you so much for watching be sure to love yourself i love you guys so so much and i'll see you babes in the very next video i don't wipe this off my face is feeling weird
especially right here. All right, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.